It seems to be that with increased excitement comes increased danger. The thing about lightning is that you have no idea where it's going to strike. People always ask me where my favorite place to jump is, and I strangely think of Florida as the answer. Florida has the most surreal sky landscape I've ever had the opportunity to fly in. When it comes to sky surfing, I really feel like it's the most opportune place for me to get to do it. Out here in Florida, the mission was to try to find a way to show the general public what we experience in flight with the visual overload and excitement of what Florida offers with the big, puffy thunderstorm clouds. What we're really hoping to get is some really dark, big, ominous storm clouds with a lot of activity, maybe lightning, and we're basically jumping into them and trying to surf the edges of them. It's a high-stakes adventure. Right now, we're kind of just going to do a little gear check jump, get everybody kind of tuned in, get the ball rolling a little bit. Chasing these clouds and being in this environment can be extremely dangerous. It's always in the back of our minds that lightning's going on nonstop. I guess that could hit me. It's an amazing privilege for us to even attempt what we're doing here. We've broken down a number of barriers and red tape for us to be able to do this. Sky surfing is a very hard discipline to learn. The feeling is just like, Ooh. you're taking on stuff at like 200 miles per hour. There's just an element of power that's just exciting. Had a really nice flight, got to check it out. Excited to get these things building a little taller and a little dark. He had a lot more speed and lift than we anticipated. Uh, so we're going to make some adjustments there and get us close together so we can get some nice images of him flying around some of those clouds. Jump one. Learned a lot. Now we're going to crush it again. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. We want to film it, and we want to share it, and we want to show it. My role in this mission is simply to try to document and film Sean's experience flying and tracking fast through the clouds. We decided to bring on two cameramen, one focusing solely on stills mainly, and myself focusing on video only. If I get clips that I can share, I'm going to be extremely excited. I've known John and Craig for about 20 years, and that's really the kind of trust that you need to have on a mission of this level. For the three of us, it really is a coordination of flying all together as a team. We have our plan, we have our idea, and then when we exit, it's all changing. It's like this whole terrain that's moving and changing and also threatening. We ended up being 14, 15 miles from the drop zone, so out in the middle of nowhere. 
A little further from the DZ than I thought. <laughs> I don't even know where the DZ is. Luckily here, looking down, it's just sugarcane fields forever. And it was a beautiful skydive. Felt like we're getting the pilot dialed into where we need to be and starting to get inside some of those big puffy clouds. Pretty beautiful up there. So it was a really great day for us to get some training in and familiarize ourselves with the area. Now we can go into two tomorrow, and if the storms build, not be so worried. Like, we know it's landable everywhere out here. Right now, the weather is not accommodating to what we were hoping for. We're waiting for these weather anomalies that spontaneously build and then disappear. We are starting to see some weakening. It looks like there was a buildup earlier, and that, has, that first one has dissipated. So what we were able to have is meteorologists and technology that was really good at helping us predetermine areas that were having things develop. I mean, it is or it isn't. If it's something that's worth it, then let's chase it. If not, then... As it is right now, I'd say not worth it. OK. And there it is. Yeah, we need to build more. OK. We had a bit of a slow start in the beginning. We came out here for a week, and we got two jumps. It created its own, like, tension and frustration. It's fairly tough conditions. We're at, like, close to 100 with 100% humidity. <laughs> But that's why I picked John and Craig, because I know that we can all be in the frustration of it and not chew at each other. I swear, we had a really fun time, whether we're stuck on the ground or getting to be in motion. I'll be honest, I, I don't think people understand how fun an airboat really could be. Guys just called and said that about 20 miles south there's a big supercell. It's already blasting lightning, so I think it's supposed to be about halfway to us. We'll meet yeah. it halfway. Looks promising. Before it breaks apart, yeah. Let's go get it. Looks mean, I don't know about promising. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go do it. As you're entering into the cloud, it's very spooky, it's turbulent. You are not used to being at the bottom of the food chain. decided to start raining on us. Right. Middle of nowhere, Florida. Storm's edge. We found the edge. We just jumped in it. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Full force, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Sean had some weird passion to jump on the edge of this stuff. So we did it. This is a wild ride, and there is no part of it that is a walk in the park. If we would have jumped five minutes later, we would have been caught in that, and those kind of conditions are going to collapse your parachute, just create really bad circumstances. In my life, it seems to be <laughs> that with increased excitement comes increased danger. We are tightrope walking. You have seen things in that environment that no one will ever get to see. We've got the stuff that we got in a can, and we're happy. But 
Uh, at the same time, there is still a shot that we really want to get. I think we're all kind of still hoping that we have something roll in. This cloud kind of moved in and started just lighting up the sky. We were basically throwing our gear on the plane, getting geared up and taking off, trying to race to still have a little bit of light. Whoa, dude, that was insane. It was everywhere. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. This wow. That was freaking awesome. Thank you, Florida. Yeah. Amy Shemalecki is about to do her first base jump ever. Kirby Chambliss is going to do his first base jump ever, too. So fired up right now. Bang, you're open! Practice flare. Practice flare. I'm probably a little bit out of my comfort zone, for sure. My mom, she made me promise her I would never base jump. You serious about this or what? What up, YouTube? Click for the next video. Subscribe to Red Bull.